So, Sonny, uh, so you've asked me a question. I should ask you a question, uh, which is, you know, so I've got, uh, you know, in my spare time, I run a little hobby YouTube channel. I've got, you know, a handful of, uh, of, of subscribers and just a little tiny community of people that I like playing with, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, you, are mu you, you are much more ambitious than I am, and you've got a channel that is doing <laughs> a lot more, and I think there's a lot of folks, I mean, my, my son, my nine-year-old son, if you ask him what he wants to do with his life, he wants to be a YouTuber. He wants to seriously oh, no, be a yeah. YouTuber. And of course, and I think that like it used to be that every kid would say, I want to be a game developer uh, when they were little. Now it's moving on to YouTube. Yes. I think more kids say they want to be YouTubers than want to be game developers. Um, you, by the way, you nailed that because growing, it's funny because growing up, I've always liked video games, obviously, but I just, I thought game developer, I'm not sure. And it's weird when I think about it and sorry to cut you off. I just oh, no, go had for a it. thought. It's weird when you, it's, it's weird when you think about it when I was a kid, and I'm old now, I'm 37. When I was a kid, <laughs> my job, what I would end up really loving and, and, and finding kind of what's my career and my dream, I never, it didn't exist. So <laughs> I, I, I grew up a long time, well into my late 20s, not knowing what the heck I wanted to do with myself until I started making video. So it's just crazy to think that the times change so quick, technology changes so quick, gaming changes so quick, that when I was a kid, I, I never knew what I wanted to do. And I always thought game developer, and you're right, everyone thought game developer, not me. I was just like, I don't, it doesn't seem that fun to make games, code, no, this, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy that. So um, yeah, it's just been really cool. Sorry to cut off your, I just no, thought no, it was no, no. interesting. I, 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 really... I heard that kids, their number one thing they wanna be is YouTubers, and that blows my mind mind. Yeah, so so actually, I had a really similar impulse to you when I was younger. When I was like a teenager, um, I, I I actually went, yeah. went to film school because at the time, I mean, YouTube was not a thing okay. when I was a kid. But I did go to film school because I was like, you know, I wanted to make something, and I knew that film school existed, right? Like there that, that there was a path. There was like a, a people had been making movies for a hundred years, and they they knew how to do it. And and it was they had college programs that could train you how to do it. Whereas game development. Nobody knew how that was done. That was like, it was a brand new industry. You know, it was only at the time when I was a teenager, it was only like 20 years old. And, you right. know, no, nobody knew what they were doing. And uh, and so there wasn't a path to follow. There wasn't like a way, like there's, you couldn't just look up, well, how do you become a game developer? There was no answer to that question. And so I just didn't, even though I was really interested in video games my whole life, my dad was a game reviewer and he would bring home games and I would play them for him and demo them for him so that, oh, uh, cool. so that he, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that was my training basically as a game developer was, de was demoing games games for a game critic um uh, you know like I, I never imagined that it was actually a possibility and i it was just pure luck i happened to end up meeting the right people at the right time and uh, at getting just randomly offered a job uh at, at my first at my first job 20 years ago and um you know but otherwise i probably never would have even considered trying to become a game developer because it seemed so impossible and so so the question i was gonna ask you is there's a lot of kids out there now who want to be youtubers and it's the kind of thing where there isn't a college where you learn to be a youtuber it's a oh. thing that you learn to do on your own and so i'm like i'm curious what advice would you give those kids like what would you tell them to do if they want to learn how to do what you do so that's 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 a really good question i it's interesting i not to go into my my extremely long story but uh, in i was uh i was diagnosed with cancer in 2016 oh and i ended up uh going through some he heavy chemo and i was 29 at the time so when that was when i went through that and i was able to get through it i kind of realized I'm, I'm 30 years old and i to this I was 30 years old and I was like, to this day, I still don't really know what I want to do. I've always worked with kids with disabilities and I still do that today, uh, but I never knew what I wanted to do. So I got into YouTube. So I got started streaming and I've always done streaming. That was the first thing I back when Twitch was around in like 2011, I was streaming and I've always started off as a streamer, not as a video maker. And I never knew I would like video making. And so I got into streaming and then I started messing around with just doing, just playing a game and throwing it up on YouTube. Little by little, people just started to watch a little bit. It wasn't a lot. It'd be 100 views or something, but you'd get excited for that. Yeah. And I'm still excited by 100 Over time, views. I realized, yeah, and I still am too. I have small little channels and I get just a couple of views and I'd never take any of that for granted. And so I decided, okay, let's, let's, let's really get into this. And it became my passion. I, I found something that I just, I love to do. I love waking up in the morning and just, tackling and making a video and doing that so literally the way you do it go through youtube and learn 
everything you can. I've learned how to edit on my own. I learned audio on my own, our own camera. You have to be, you know, a videographer. You need to be an audio guy. You need to be a technical guy because all the stuff you have to learn. You have to learn all these things at the moment because I know they'll come up with college. They'll, it'll be a thing where there'll be classes for this, like specifically for people who want to do social media. And I think there already is. But I mean, that's what I did. I self-learned and um, it's funny because I get I have little nephews and nieces and they want to be YouTubers as well. And, you know, that's what I say. Hey, like, just start doing it. And that's the biggest piece of advice more than anything to get kids with, with your parents, if they allow you or as you get a little older, just start doing it. Start, you know, making little things here and there. And, and eventually you'll you'll find if it's the passion and you'll you'll want to learn. And at the moment, that's how you do it. You kind of self-learn and you kind of do a lot of study. And so I poured over thousands of hours of how to do this, this, and that, and that's personally how I did it. So, what, what what's your favorite part of the job? Like, what, what keeps you going? What what make what makes this a thing that you not only decided to do, but that you keep doing? You know, I what's my fa I don't, man, I I just like it. I don't know if there's something that's like I could point to and say that's my favorite thing. I'll tell you one thing. This is gonna sound a little weird, but I've I've I definitely don't do it for any sort of fame not that I'm, I'm not have any fame but like i don't do it for anything like it's actually the thing that i just prefer like i don't even look at my numbers i throw a video up and i just don't look at it i i, I just like creating something i think that's what you, like you mentioned before like i've always thought i love games and i but i never thought making the game that didn't sound fun to me but making videos that talk about games now that's something that i was just like whoa and it, i think it's just the love of creating something and and seeing people enjoy it and I think the biggest thing that I've found over the years that I've really liked the most is just interacting with people and getting to know a lot of people and then kind of making a little bit of a difference in their life, hopefully in a positive way. And that's something that I've tried my best, whether it's, you know, through live streams or, or making a video. And if if it just takes somebody, you know, uh, 10 minutes and it gives, gives them a little joy out of their day, if, if I make a video or if I do a live stream or something, I think to me that is the biggest thing that I take the most joy out of so i think that's like my two favorite things just creating something and really just talking and interacting with people because maybe in person i'm not very social but you throw on a camera you throw me on a live stream and i can probably talk all day you can't keep me you can't get me to <laughs> shut up so it's just interesting